Hello everyone. It's been a while since the last video, but here's another one. This one is a community video, so to say. Since uh, CSGO has released um, the trusted launch stuff bullshit that uh, nobody really cares about as far as I'm concerned uh, regarding cheating. Um, it has only negatively affected legit people. And about a week ago, a bit more than a week ago, I've patched OBS basically. So the issue is if you're not using OBS and you still want to hear it, the issue is if you're using game capture, which every normal human being is using if he's playing a video game, because it's simply faster than um, with the trusted launch, what would happen is it, the DLL that gets injected normally gets blocked and it doesn't even get injected. Now, I've, I've done two simple modifications. One was actually just a byte patch um, to the DLLs that come with OBS. And now it allows you again to use game capture. The reason why I'm making this video is because I, yes, I know I said it on stream and I've proven that it works, but I was looking around if people actually started to understand. I was looking on Reddit and it seems like the majority of people are actually have literally not found anyone suggesting my, my, my solution. Um, the majority or all of the people just say use window capture, use monitor capture and all these stupid methods that are garbage. Um, for me, at least, uh, window capture was flashing sometimes. It was a really poor quality. The FPS were much worse than they actually than they are with game capture. So I made um, OBS game capture to work on the trusted, uh, trusted launch. So if you want to download it, uh, you can go to Unknown Cheats. I put the, uh, the link in the description and you can just download it and um, follow this instruction here. Um, yep, that's all you need to do. You just, you click on the download link here. You get these two DLLs in the, in the zip, in the RAR, and then you just exchange them just like that. Restart OBS and everything should work just fine. In case you're using Streamlabs, uh, Streamlabs OBS, scroll a bit further down, somebody from the community, uh, Mr. Axilus, um, has tested it. Um, it works exactly the same uh, like like the normal OBS. The DLLs are identical in uh, Streamlabs. So you just need to follow his guide here where he uh, changes the DLLs. So basically the folder name is just different. You need to go a little bit deeper uh, for Streamlabs and then sh that should work too. Now I can just demonstrate that here if you want. Um, so untrusted um, dash untrusted has been removed anyways but i'll try to demonstrate that somehow so that you can see how how it works now this account is back since 2012 so you can make fun of me if you are a non-cheater but this works for both cheaters and non-cheaters this is just a modified dll from obs that basically does a little bit of um Actually, it doesn't even bypass anything. I mean, yes, it moves the, 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 the files in a different folder, which is the majority of the bypass. But there was also another issue where in the DirectX 9 file of, of the game capture, they would create a DirectX 11 texture. And for some reason, on the, on the, on, on the trusted launch, the, uh, the game would crash for some reason. I just changed that to a DirectX 9 texture which basically removed about 10 lines of code into one line of code and that works. Anyways, so the game is started. Um, I can show you with, uh, maybe not cheat, ah, well, I'll just show you with cheat engine. Um, so first we look at the DLLs that are currently loaded. I think we shouldn't be injected at the moment. Now the DLL we're looking for is called graphics hook 32 or something like that. Now. It's usually at the bottom here somewhere, but it's currently not loaded. Now, if I create a game capture like this, and I take CSGO, and we enable that, now we now you should be able to see CSGO in the right bottom. And if I check the DLLs again, then here's the graphics hook 32 DLL that is modified 
that you will download and we can also not through here actually mm, process hacker don't open any of these programs if you are legit this is as i said this account is vacked already shouldn't really matter for you guys i'm just proving you that the dll is actually there even though it shouldn't well normally it shouldn't now this is just pure demonstration but if we look at the graphics hook 32 dll it's now in c windows whatever the fuck this is this is basically all this does it puts the original dll into the game into the windows folder instead of the program file folder and um uh this dll is also modified so it's not just as i said it's 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 a simple fix i told obs about it they said they're too worried about people getting banned because they're a little bit paranoid um but in reality you know if they would just push this update which as i said is is just a couple lines um if they would push this update and people would actually get banned for that well then valve did something wrong because they just banned a couple innocent people you know nobody's cheating and injecting a dll is not not allowed you know i mean <laughs> you know i mean if you all get banned for injecting dlls nowadays then um you know we might as well use an operation system where we can't do anything anymore anyways that was uh, the proof that it works as i said description is in uh, the the link is in the description uh you probably need an account to download this but uh it's free and uh a moderator has a proof that this virus <laughs> that this virus is not a virus that these files are not a virus anyways if you don't believe me then go kill yourself and uh have a great saturday saturday at the double check see you later guys